Hello YouTube, today we are going to be seeing what we can and what we cannot shoot out of a trombone slide. Now, as you know, the trombone is a brass instrument, and what do you know, brass is good at containing air pressure. That's why they use them in, use them in guns, because they hold pressure pretty well. So, what I have set up right now is all the different types of darts that we are going to be shooting today. We have all the way from uh, 2001 stuff. So nowadays, to counterfeit, to knock off, to just flat out junk. So, we have the missiles, mega darts, ultra tech, original busbies, and extreme busbies, whistlers, and streamlines, a couple zombie strike darts, uh, three elites, three suction cup elites, uh, three counterfeit uh, streamline suction cup darts, uh, three knockoff counterfeit suction cup darts like the ones that were shot out of the Maverick, and three hard tips that I got from some random place. As well as, we have these two, which have the post of the suction cup inside of the dart shaft. Then we have these where it's a cap, as well as these. The difference between these two is the type of suction cup and the length of the dart. And of course we have our wonderful Jupiter trombone slide with the bell just randomly sitting here. All right then. So let's get to it. All right, so with that said, we are going to be starting out with the stock or most common ammunition. So we have the Elite Darts, the Section Cup Elites, the Busbies, and the Ultra Techs. So the way I am actually loading these is that I take the dart and I chamber it into the part that has the threads on it and it sits in there very nicely. Now the reason I'm not using the other end is because the other end actually really ruins the darts and it, it dents the ends of them and it just puts muck on them. Don't think you want that on your spring. So, that's just how I load it. Let's actually fire now. It's up first. Suction cups. Loading. Buzz these suction cups. And ultra tax. This take a second longer for the whole fit. Alright then, so what I found out is that the ones that actually shot the best was the Ultratech darts because of their odd fit. They fit much tighter than any of the other darts. And because the suction cup darts and the, uh, okay, the Elite darts are made of the same foam, of course they shoot the same. However, I forgot to note with the Elite darts that they weren't fresh. However, with the Busby darts, the Busby darts, although they look like they have thick foam, they don't. It's not a very good dart. It does not fit very well. So that's what I found out from using stock. Alright, next group. Alright, so the next batch we have here is we have the Whistlers, the Suction Cup Extremes, the Streamlines, and the Zombie Strike. This will be recently obsolete. Cup, Zombie Strike. Streamlines.
stream. My difficulties. And what's live? Alright then, so what I found out now is that the Whistlers ended up shooting the hardest, then the Streamlines, then the Zombie Strike, but unfortunately, although I said only minor difficulties with these, if you can't fire it, which is the point of this video, then it's not going to work very well. It took me about five tries to figure out where to actually place the darts to it even fire, and that'd be just take too long for practicality. So yeah, that's the lineup for Recently Obsolete. Alright then, so next up here we have CC, or Quality Counterfeit. Fail, I can spell. So, we have these, which are knockoff suction cup darts, which would be for streamlines, but of course Nerf never made them. Then we have these hard points, which, because they do not have a hole in the side of them, has been proven by many Nerfers that that hole causes the depression and just destroys the airfoil, so it won't go straight. Anyways, some of these aren't even straight, so probably won't help anyways. And then we have these knockoff Maverick darts. They have, they're the same thing, it's just different type of foam, feels cheaper, and suction cup is still pretty junky. So, let's go. Quality counterfeit. Alright then, so up first, the knockoff suction cup darts that have that would be streamlines. All right, now we have the uh, hard points, very tight fit. That's a good thing. Takes a second longer to load. And now we have the knockoff section cups. Alright, so here's the lineup for those. We have the knockoff streamlines, then we have the uh, knockoff maverick darts, and then we have the hard points. Now, the reason the hard points are at the bottom is because they are of bad quality, so they weren't made very well, so they didn't go very well. And after reviewing the footage, I noticed that they didn't even go in frame. So. Yeah, I figured that the ones at the top went the straightest and had the generally the most power. And that will be it for quality counterfeit. Alright, now we have the JC, or Junky Counterfeit. We have the suction cup darts with the dart post on the inside. We have the cup end cap suction cup darts. And then we have another type of end cap suction cup dart, but it is a uh, long. It is longer and it has a slightly better suction cup. So this will be JC Junky Counterfeit. All right. So these are on the inside dart post ones. Although these are of worse quality, they fit pretty tightly. Alright, 
Up next, we have the uh, bad quality regular suction cup ones. And finally, now we have the longer foam ones. These ones tend to have thicker foam and having a little bit of trouble getting them to fit. Oh, start bust. All right, I'm gonna grab a new one real quick. All right, take two on that last shot. Rotate that. All right, so at the top here, we have our uh, posted, or the post on the inside section cup dart. Then we have the end cap suction cup dart. Then we have at the bottom these longer ones. But the longer ones exploded! Just a little more in on that. The reason they exploded is because of how cheap the darts were. When I fired it, the caps just popped off because of how bad the adhesive was on these darts. So yeah, these are bad. And that is the lineup for Junkie Counterfeit. So what we have here now is now we have some mega darts from two different companies. One is clearly Nerf, the other is clearly, well actually, it's not clearly, it's Busby though. Alright, so how I have these fitted on here is that the dart slides over the threaded part just like how the Elite darts go, but instead they go over it versus inside of it. So you can see right here. That it's over it and not inside of it this time. So, let's fire. First up, Nerf Mega Darts. Man, these things really don't go in frame, do they? And now we have Busby Mega Darts. I only have two of them, but it will work. And now it's brother. Alright then, so here is the lineup. Now, they actually did not shoot very different at all. The suction cup Busby shot about the same as this, but about the same is not exactly the same. It came down to the quality of the foam that changed it. And I forgot to mention that I taped the end of this one. So, that's the lineup for Mega Darts. Alright, now we have something pretty interesting. We are going to be firing these Big Bad Bow rockets, or arrows, out of the trombone slide. The question is how, because clearly, this does not fit very well over the end of this. It just shakes. So, to solve that issue, I went to this random place and I found this uh, Mega Dart body. And it happens to be that it fits very nicely inside of the arrows. So, what do we know about Mega Darts? They also fit over the ends of the trombone slide. And because they fit over the ends of the trombone slide, you can put arrows onto this. Like so. And the farther we get it on there, the better fit's going to have, of course. So, let's fire. Alright, just a slight note, I am missing the fins on a lot of these, so these most likely are not going to go straight, but I will try my best. Alright, there's the first one, going to have to angle it up more. That one just kind of went all wonky. Alright then, we have finished shooting all of these darts and rockets or arrows, whatever you call them. Now here's what I have to say about these. They don't work. As you saw, they would never go straight, and that's because, well, they're arrows. They're nerve arrows. They just don't go very well. However, everything else performs alright. 
So my conclusion, trombones are amazing nerf blasters. They can shoot basically anything, except for if it's, you know, bad quality. And yeah, you get the point, the price point, that is. Around 200 bucks or so just for the slide. That's probably an expensive blaster. And for the fact that you could probably make your own using some hot glue and a couple pieces of brass. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.